And this, these are contemplative strings. She's like, what's going on here? I didn't leave that faucet on. See, I was making a whole story up in my head. Right, remember, right. I scored this without even talking to you, really. Right. So I wanted to see just what I could come up with based on the, my, the visual yeah, art. Yeah, based upon what I was telling you, mm -hmm. what was going on. A little right, bit. Right. Yeah, I knew a little bit of the story. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of the J. Craig Podcast. I'm Jay. And this is my main man, Rob Erickson. Rob Free. Hey. What's up, Rob? Hey, welcome. Welcome here in my casa. Thanks for you're, having us back again. You're in the studio. That's this right. Is, uh, I call it the lab. I think I think a lot of people call their studio the lab. There's some, yeah, but some, I am some, a, something yeah, fun is happening here. Geek. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, welcome. so uh, last several episodes, uh, not well, not sorry, but last, several times this year, let's put it, we've talked about music, uh, music and movies. Uh, sound, sound design, mm -hmm. lots of things that incorporate sound and music, right? Mm -hmm. And a couple times we've talked about our process in making movies. We've worked on three different projects together. Right. And, and actually in like three different ways. In three exactly. very different so ways. We'll touch on that. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so Rob had a really great idea. Why don't we take some footage that I had that was abandoned, take that and create some music to it and show how we actually do it? Uh, yeah. It's a great idea. I, right? have a little, I have a few more toys to play with. Um, uh, oh, a little bit of background on this, actually. Yep. This project is a 10-year-old project that got 15. abandoned. Okay, a little, okay, so you, you've been working on it for a while. By the time I scored it, because I came in probably later on, as, as maybe yep. I should as a musician, he had a lot of footage, and I was able to drop it into Logic here, my, to my, work, my uh, audio workstation, and uh, I came up with a score. Actually, I wanted to ask you, kind of what's going on here with the story as a good backdrop. This is a sci-fi slash Twilight Zone movie, and he's the keeper of all time. So oh, he's okay. like a hermit. So he, nice. Interesting. his job, his whole purpose in life is to make sure that plug that you see in the footage stays connected. Yeah, that plug. That plug, that's his job. Okay. And if so that that's... gets unplugged, something happens, right? Okay. So his job is to make sure time stays. So he's the keeper of that plug right. kind of thing. Father time kind of being. And that's in his back, what, backyard? It's in his backyard. Okay. So it just, that's so, what happens. So what's going on with the with the with the shot at the okay. beginning? Because so that's 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 where there's that? there's supposed to be some digital effects that I didn't finish. This was an abandoned project. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have to get into the the politics of what oh, happened yeah, here. Yeah, this is a details. movie I tried to make about 15 years ago. Right, right. But what we do we see at that opening shot? Ooh, uh, it's a blue sky. There's supposed to be a big cable, okay, rising or you know up in the air that you'll see that okay. we're painting down from. And hopefully it'll be, maybe the art direction can be a little sci-fi, so you immediately know that's some kind of otherworldly or, right. or, or, or well, very something technical. Rising, yeah, yeah. You can make them like braided. I've sure. seen the Ninja Turtle episodes. You can make sure. it so it looks like it's some kind of cable, right. not just a black pole. Well, yeah, is that a yeah. line? What is, is that, that a line? Yeah. yeah. Hair in the film? Eyelash? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you get the feel of like, yeah, exactly. okay. So, so, ed, so enter something physics. science fiction right off right. the bat. Okay. So sci-fi like Twilight that. Zone. like that. Right? So that's why I think like there's like some energy that can be like there's an energy element okay. right there, right? Okay, okay, now, she comes in. She comes in. And she represents chaos. Okay, I can so, see why, why yeah. maybe you sped up the music a little bit yeah. or something Yeah, so it gets there. a little yeah. different there, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then it starts to get a little uneven. Okay. With like a little boom, 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 yeah. right? So that's her, she's coming. She, what we don't see in the footage is she, uh, she trips over the, the, the thing. Oh, that plug, well, we right. saw the plug. Right, we saw the she's plug. She's walking away. Right. I created this particular 43 seconds. It was a little longer clip of just, it was supposed to be just for a quick demo reel. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I cut it down and even more so. So I, I'm missing that element there where she trips over it and it's supposed to shake loose and then it comes off eventually. Okay, right. So at any rate. And that's uh, just more CG. And that's just more CG, right. Yeah, so yeah. at any rate, she um, represents <clears throat> chaos. He represents calm and coolness. He's right. got a really easy job. He said job. he's the dude or he's something. Like the he's dude, like, man. So he's very relaxed. He's very relaxed. Okay. And, you know, he just kind of, he's enjoying his life. He's I got cereal. That. Yeah. He, you know, that's it's called Cosmic Flakes because right. he has a cereal box that he's trying to eat uh, from and it's called hey, Cosmic dude, Flakes. you got a cereal t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Did not plan that. Yeah. Did not plan yeah. that. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, but so I, anyway. I, you know, I got that. Okay. And because guys, I was able to see I think it was two minutes or three minutes. I even like it was a little bit substantial. Longer, yeah. 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 So that whole scene was able to play out, and he is eating a bowl of uh, flakes. His TV's not working. He's like, "What's going on?" There's a whole story. It yeah. It's a whole story. And, and actually, he even starts getting frenetic. Right. And I had a little thing with him. Say, yeah. I did have some more footage. Yeah. I don't know where that is because even my computer crashed. I, I don't even know about that energy thing in the yeah. sci-fi. I was because I, I didn't know when you're going to drop your twist. Usually, at some point, you're like something's not right. Something's not right. In Twilight Zone, it's typically right. like, oh, it was a normal day right. until shit was not normal all of a sudden. You right. know what I mean? I didn't right. know when that's happening. Yeah. And so, um, so I'll follow your cues here to walk so, me through it. So there's, I think there's the plug. And so there's what? a plug which has right this like energy, mm -hmm. right? But everything's everything's right. Pans down, yeah. Pans down. She represents chaos. So when she comes into play, uh huh. Okay. So, but that's so all. When I'm here, what I have, what I got from you though, from that. The tone was different because it was too optimistic. It was it too was. 
light. Yeah, you know, and I never added drums. I never, and it never got busier when she came right, on the scene. Right, it was just right. like, and well, there was a little bit of hopefulness because I go up at the end and she grabbed the fence and around the corner. It starts going. The strings were telling right, the tale, but it, it, but it, but exactly, uh, you're yeah. telling a story based upon the type of tone you're using with the music, and that's that's yeah. the whole point here. Yeah. Is like now there's different types of way we can do this. Like Rob and I have done it this way before, where he takes just what I kind of give us kind of an idea what it's about, and he creates something, comes mm-hmm. back to me, we work on it, and then there's times like we did with playing with matches where. Uh, it's a collaborative process of the whole thing. Like as I'm making it, I'm telling him what I want. I'm giving him right. cues from different movies that I'm like, hey, I'm thinking of this, you know. And I and I a lot of times people artists don't like to be told what to emulate from because they don't want to copy, right? right? But and I I have had an actor friend who I tried to have him play a part a certain way, and I was like, watch these movies. He's like, oh, I watched like five minutes of piece. I'm like, no, I don't want you to watch the character. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm like, duh, but I want you to act like him. Yeah, <laughs> but no, that's like that's not the truth. Well, At any rate, uh, no, they're great reference points. We even talk right. about that in, in our podcast. That's that's how we operate, right? Or one of the ways we right. can operate. Right. You were under the gun with another one with henchmen, so Henchman that was, was us different. working, and we talked about that. Right. That was us working separately, right? And then we kind of came back in, and you did the final edits, which I never saw, but right. that's fine. I don't need to. Yeah, you, but you did tell me some advice. You're like, yeah. I didn't like that. That synthesizer's too loud, and right. it's Need- not mixed right because they're in an the elevator. So elevator jazz should sound like it's in an elevator. I was like, oh yeah, no problem. I didn't right. know I'm gonna do well, notch filter, but right? So, so, yeah, it was, I need more military or something like that, more military right. drums. So that was it. So when the, in Henchman Incorporated, what we did is I, I had a very short 30-day time frame oh, to make why. this movie. Okay. And as I got it towards completion, Rob came on board, gave me an idea what the music was sounding like. And I said, okay, I need a couple adjustments there. Then he gave it back to me. And then I had to, I had to use that and edit it, the picture to the music. Yeah. But playing the matches, okay. I edited the other way around. Yeah, you I know? remember I scored that. Right, yeah, we went we went to my buddy's right. house who had the electric piano that I wanted. Right, and we actually played that. To, definitely the trunk scene because exactly. that, and that's the trunk scene. And that's when he said, "Okay, yeah, you, you know, you weren't like the whole movie has to be this." Um, right, but it's one just, you were very particular about one scene, and that's yeah. fine. I think directors absolutely should like this is actually pivotal. Right, and the trunk scene is ironically you say that in that movie when he was screening that film uh-huh. uh, when when Soderbergh was screening that film before it was released. A lot of the producers and people were all like, "Get yeah, a trunk scene," you know, and they were all talking about because it was an edited right. Actually, they I went through three or four edits. I see before you're actually seeing that because they're like, you know, they couldn't fall in love too easy because it was right. like, didn't make any sense. But then right. they couldn't like sandbag any longer. They still it was a hard scene to shoot, and they're freaking laying in his trunk. I mean, right. you know, there's only so much. But the way that that music was, and the, the, I think it was the monotony and the way that the drums were mixed. I look back on it too. Yeah. I listen to that track a lot. But, yeah, it's a but fantastic track. you had that vision, and right. I was like, I see that vision. Right. Because I knew how important it was to Soderbergh on that trunk scene. Mm-hmm. And you said I had to have a trunk scene. I was like, all right. It's not a trunk scene. It's yeah. just that's the kind of well, sound that I was going yeah, for. Yeah, right. That's yeah. the sound I was thinking of anyways. Yeah. And then that's just, it's up to Rob to figure out how to make that. Yeah. Right? So with this, oh, and so there's different ways to do it. So with this, we've obviously working in a much different way again. Yeah. Uh, but essentially, it's about communication and making sure I tell him all the information. So if, if he didn't know that it didn't have a chord coming down, didn't know that she represents chaos. Yeah. He's gonna create music that's completely different. That's true. And you know what? what? That might be. It's, that's great for a different, a yeah. different movie, right? Right, right? It just depends on right. what kind of tone you're going right. for, what you're trying to tell. Yeah, and, and yeah. from what I gather for you, from you right now, it's it, it, let's say there's three scenes. What I'm seeing, folks, is that we're gonna work on three scenes, okay? Three. And uh, <clears throat> um, I got one of them right, right off the bat. Yep. Because you like the third one. Yep. So that's why usually, I mean, you know, put your best foot forward. And exactly. of course, if I had a script, actually, if I did my homework, I probably wouldn't have just went off scoring. It was, I just did it for shits and giggles. Yeah, and exactly. I do that a lot with when I get new gear and equipment. I just right. go do something so it helps me learn the instrument. Right. You Absolutely. Know? In this case, I was learning how to how score the film in my audio workstation. So, yeah. Um, so All yeah, right. let's, let's do this process. Um, I want to change the second part. Okay. I want to I wanna break it down from okay. what I see, these seconds-wise. Let's take a quick, quick gander at these seconds-wise, because I'm seeing these scenes here, okay? Mm-hmm. And what I'm seeing is, with the intro, now we can add about that much black. We'll see. I don't know how much we want to add at the beginning, you know, the, where, it's, where there's nothing there. But right around here. So the music could start, maybe not even that early. The music could start here at four I, seconds. Yeah, I don't mind how having more black because it gives you an opportunity okay. to tell more of the story because okay. it's such a short time frame. Well, so by the time she, whatever you okay, can. Okay, but by the time she actually pops up on the frame, I was calling it 18 seconds. Yeah, that so sounds we'll good. The 18 second mark. Right. And then from there to when it starts kind of fading out to when we see uh, the name. What's the guy's name? 
by the way? Uh, the dude. Oh, the dude. Yeah, the timekeeper dude. He comes in. That's like 38 seconds. So we got about another 20 seconds to play with. Okay. So you have about 20 second beginning, 20 second middle. We'll okay. just say a 20 second end. Okay. And you can fade it out. Right. So I'm seeing three different pieces of music. We have very a very good jump off point from the from the uh, uh, the perspective of the third piece. Right. And the first piece, I just want to create something new, I think. I really want to, you know, these strings I don't mind. I'm looking back at these strings. I might still use these. I'll probably play different notes, but okay. I like the timbre. I like the way the strings sound. Okay. It sounds to me like a nice, yeah. you know, emotional string part. If I so. can give you uh, one hit, one tip for the beginning, yeah. for the, the plug, one word, energy. Energy, yeah. You get the okay. energy. Okay. Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's go, go work on some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll, cool. we'll do that. So let's touch right. that. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. So hey, welcome over to this part of my studio here yep. in the lab. Got it. Uh, and this is the sound synthesizer lab. We're kind of working on some notes. So I'm gonna start with some basic, kind of just basic notes. One of my favorite tones, you know, this is Moog synthesizer. And we can start off clean. And we're talking about like, the energy, right? We're talking about the energy sound, you know, and I don't know where to go from something like this, but you can also do kind of neat tricks with glide functions. Cool. Yeah. You can drop the spaceship, yeah. and drop the bomb, and I like it. Standing by Lord Vader. You know, uh, so Death Star, Death Star yeah. Byron Up, yeah, I mean, who knows? This thing's from 75, so who knows what it was in. Let's see if we can get dirty with it. Yeah, it needs, it needs to go the other way, though. Yeah, yeah so it needs I to can, come down to Earth, right? Like Earth. Yeah, so, so that's what I was thinking as we pan down, yeah. we'll do something like that, okay? okay? Now, that's the first kind of instrument I had, but I want to do something note-wise that we can pick out. So I was going to do something just kind of nice, light, and fluffy, and kind of comes up like this. So some something that's in D something, D minor, I think-ish. Yeah, so it is light and fluffy. And with this, can we, how about a little bit, I like this one right here. I like that. Maybe down here. And somewhere, yeah. So maybe, oh, too, yeah. maybe too light and fluffy some, somewhere. Well, we can be in this octave here, so we would be... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's almost more like a clock tower. I like that. Yeah. All right, so that's cool. He is Father Time, after exactly. all. Hey, right. that's good. Yeah. I like that. All right, all right. So and I like, the, I like the idea of having the sound underneath the entire, like, yeah. lower, lower maybe, obviously, but... Uh... Yeah, we can do... Or we, yeah, having it constant, or we can just kind of fade it out, honestly. But I like the constant yeah. idea that it's always there. Maybe if we, the further she gets away, it gets lighter, you know, it moves away as she... Uh... Yeah, yeah I, like, I like that. That sounds, that sounds like the right approach. Yeah. Yeah, so I like the energy sound. We have a nice, I like that, 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 that noise, right? That noise. Yeah, it's getting dirtier as we get closer. Right. And I want something more in this octave. This is more of the, the setup. works. The setup music. Right. I wanted to start this pulse comes in. And okay. I think you had that in your placeholder. Some kind of symbol. Something's happening. Yeah. When she pops up. Right. Here comes a hot mess, okay? I got 80 BPM. You know, right? But it can easily be doubled. Right, you know, right, something right. rapid. I mean, so now we're on a pulse. Remember, it's chaos, can, right? You get that, yeah. My favorite is 909 setting. I love the 90s. They're the 80s drums. So we'll do like a backbeat real quick. So you'll hear the backbeat, and that'll help us uh, kind of get to a beat. Right, okay. You know that 80s right. drum. Sure. Feel, okay. okay. So. Okay, because I'm talking frenetic, right? It has to have chaos to it. Chaos. Right, and what I like to do is I have a lot of rolls set up. I think well, the finishing sauce, uh -huh. I'll show the finishing sauce, which will okay. be the rolls. Okay. okay. Go ahead and stop that beat. I don't All want right. chaos here. Okay. So what I wanted is I'm, I'm going to be doing some live. I might even be doing this on the fly. You know, in right. real time while I'm watching the film over there on the screen, you guys yeah. can't see everything here. Of but, but yeah, and definitely frenetic, but a lot of that. You know, a lot of that I'll do later. Right. The first pass is probably just a. Or even just a. Or maybe just do. You know, really just so, kind of comes up. Can I give? Can I or, give? Can I give you yeah, a note? Yeah. How about off, off beat, off note? Because this is kind of frenetic. She's supposed to yeah. be disturbing things. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't play those kind of polyrhythms like okay. just off the beat. I can be able to edit it in the post. Okay. But I'm doing all audio files here. I'm not really doing anything in MIDI. 
Okay. Because everything's all free form. That's what I mean. I could do, you know, sit there, and I used to do that with some some stuff in MIDI where you can like move the notes to the perfect, right. and then you can create all kinds of things, you know. Yeah. But what I'm doing, yeah, it, it'll probably just be. I'm probably not just going to drop a beat or do anything kind of techno. I, right. haven't, I don't even know if it's going to be a beat. It might just be a bunch of symbols, really. I right. mean, it might be something organic. Okay. But but I did want to have that that pulse, you know, that's in there. You know, if I really wanted to, I'm sure I could drop a hand clap, you know, or a bass drum. I can do a... Uh, Go, by the way, we might turn that down. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, but but yeah. you know what? Here's what I like about this. Yeah, here's, yeah. here's what I like what's going on here. Is that the beginning yeah. and the ending, where the energy and the keeper of the time yeah. are all very electronic, electronic. E okay. energy. Energy, yeah. And yeah, then different. she yeah, comes yeah. in with the chaos and it's drums. Yeah. Something totally so let's do that. different. Let's do this together. But I feel like it needs another instrument. Okay. So some pianos or some strings. Okay. So something to go on top of that. Now it's got to come out of the busy part. Okay. So this instrument isn't just going to start up after this one of them stops. There's a lot right. of layering and things like that right, that I'll do right. in the post, which is neat. Mm -hmm. So out of the drum part and out of the busy part, mm -hmm. say we have, you know, we have this coming in the background, which might fade up. With my pedal, I can fade up. things okay right. just want to show you how we do a few string things the first thing you really want to do with strings is fade things in and out and I have a swell pedal volume pedal down there that I'm using bring strings in and out actually we're on the black keys for this next part I did it in a flat key so okay that's one thing that's really nice get your level to swell in a little bit that's neat but also if you add some room to it like some uh, reverb of some sort and then I have a, a hold function here on the on this that's adding actually adding delay It is, I mean, it's not meant to be played like that. I'm just showing you that there's an effect on there. So now you can layer. It just lets them fuller and they ring when they start ringing truer. All right, and that goes with the last thing I do, which is a sustain pedal so I can create tone clusters. So what I'll do is... bring that up and I just want something like that a texture in the background a bed to kind of show that what's going on here and it wouldn't it wouldn't even be a bad thing if if the motif just kind of sang over and soared over okay so that's what I'm using here a little bit of delay a little bit of reverb happy hunting all right I'm here with dude for one last thing one last uh, little tutorial this is the MPC it's great for just adding things at the end actually great for building songs from the ground up in fact I don't quite have the drums laid from what we just did there with the drum section. That'll be laid, but what I like to do is come on top and add a little bit more chaos with okay. chaos rolls and stuff. So what I'll do is just I'll get, a, get a basic beat going. So something That's like... chaotic. Yeah. That sounds right. So just a basic beat, and then I can um, go over there and get different uh, on a different track. I can grab some of the rolls, maybe. Right. A lot of these, a lot of these rolls are just really frenetic, and I thought, and they're kind of offbeat. That yeah. offbeat. Yeah. Because honestly, with trap music, it, and it's kind of trap music, what I'm doing, and it's kind of a hip new thing anyway. Okay. I'm messing around with it. Um, so we just hit play. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that, this is totally, totally on the money. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, this girl's out of her mind. Like, she breaks a heel. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. All right, so we're going to awesome. start thing, and, yeah. I, and that's a tune Fun. big, boom, boom. I have to know what note that's in. Uh-huh. Because actually, I was going to pitch that in B flat, because my okay. strings, remember? I said my strings yeah. are in a flat key. Yeah. Well, his motif, uh, the dude's motif here, this is in B flat. So I don't want my drum to do, be doing this. Bo, bo. That's in like D and B flat. Yeah. It just does not sound good. It's chaos, man. Right. So we go to mix this whole thing together. Make sure you tune your samples, kids. All your drums are tuned to a key and everything. There's no accidents, and there can't be any accidents in movies. So the right. finished product, by the time it gets delivered to them, and by the time you actually, I'm gonna throw something together for 30 minutes or an hour, and then we'll, you'll get the finished product. I mean, yeah. maybe we'll do a later, later, later release, and here's the polished thing that I had. Can I have a day, maybe, or a two yeah, you to work on? But, but thanks for watching these uh, tutorials. We're gonna shoot it back to the main camera to finish the yep, podcast we'll here. We'll be right back. Yep. Start over again. Actually, it makes yeah. the thump when she yeah, jumps, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back it up. Back see, it up, we, we, it up. We, see when, you, when you peel away all the bullshit underneath some right. really cool shit. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going back from the less top. Is, less is more, right? Less is more. Top. All right, take it from here. Look at the screen for me. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. How about I'm, just a? Can we do a little bit lower volume at the very end? At the strings. At the very. The yeah, what? Just, I think just overall the the the, la, the maybe the whole thing, the, all the music at the end, the last right. section, section three. I said that's too quick. Yeah. yeah you, but and you're I, saying. And I don't mean fade. I just mean the volume itself should be just a little bit lower as it's going through that last. It's softer. He's a hermit, right? Oh, like okay. More, well, then well, this yeah, theme will soft. come back, but this theme is too loud as it comes right. in. I yeah, see. It should yeah. start a little quieter. Right. Because that, that's what you want to see is it to get quieter when it goes in his room. Yep. There you go. Let's have a podcast. There you go. So as you'll see, uh, you know, oh, there's shit, a lot of collaboration. <laughs> ah, you did it the as whole you see, we, we, you know, it's a lot of collaboration. So what we did is uh, last couple, uh, well, several uh, throughout the evening into this yeah. morning, uh, we've been creating some music here yeah. for the scene, and this is what we're doing now. This by no means means this is where we're done with, but this is, I think, a no. good uh, idea of what we're what we really wanted to see out of it, mm -hmm. based upon the communication that we had, based upon the timing that we had. Well, what I course. wanted to see, right, and I said this yesterday. What I want to see is at least something good enough to kind of get the idea really well. Right. And then if I could have a day or two, I joke, like, can I can have it more than just a day. If I had like a yeah. week, you know, even just some time to sleep on it and you sleep yeah. on it, watch right. it a few times. Because I'm already noticing there's some symbol hits, there's oh, some random sure. stuff. I'm like, yeah, right. I'm going to redo that. Yeah. But I'm going to make sure when I do redo it, I'm going to put it back to these levels. Because I think that's what I think you filmed here mm. for the first seven minutes was us tweaking the levels. Just make sure right. nothing's coming out too much. So. And then, you know, uh, of course, you, you take a little bit of time away. Like anything, right? Where you're painting, uh, writing, or whatever. When you take a little time away from it, even if it's just an evening, you come back and see it. And you're like, oh, okay, something's different. Okay, yeah. now we need to make a couple adjustments. And then we, yeah. we did a couple adjustments this morning. But uh, this is going to represent the three different things that we were uh, we were talking about yesterday. Now, with this particular short film or ex ex excerpt of a short film, mm -hmm. uh, we have three kind of themes we're just sort of trying to play with to show that, you know, you can change the feeling and the tone mm -hmm. based upon how you have your music set up. All right. So then basically, so for the first part here, we have the set, we have the energy. Energy, energy and then the descending kind of as we get closer and right. the volume it was some volume issues but uh what i'm trying to convey here is as we get closer to earth the humming kind of starts but it fades away quickly because enter 
a new character. Right. And so we wanted to have everything kind of out by then. But let's right. just take it first for that first part, and I'm going to stop it. Um, actually, I can do this little loop, and it, it should stop itself. There you go. Um, back, I think, round. Around-ish here, we'll say. Cool. So let's watch this. Okay. So by the time she stops, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, so the whole point here was to create, uh, first of all, give us a, an entry point into the tone of this particular short film, right? right? And right. so, and then we wanted the energy sound. So mm -hmm. there's the, the theme of the world that we're being invited into here. Which, which actually, it's his world. It's the Timekeeper's world. Because that's the, that's the Timekeeper's theme, I guess, we came up with. Exactly. Boom, boom, boom. Very right. watch or clock tower-ish. We were yeah. getting some chimey vibes from yep. So that's we're good. wrapping it up right here. So let's, let's take it to part two. Part two. And this is the frenetic part. This is the which, entry of which, chaos itself. Right, the, right. the lady who comes in and disrupts... Uh, Timekeeper's kind of world. The Timekeeper's world. So, and she, we decided that she kind of gets off the yeah. fence and jumps up right about yep. here. So we'll take it from here. As it okay. fades to black, there's a transition, yeah. but that, that ends the second part. Yeah, and so now we're talking about uh, going from a melodic, very, like you said, timekeeper type of and hypnotic, mellow, yeah, yeah doom, right? Doom, very slow. And then you have this sound of energy coming through, which if you notice, it's still prevalent through uh, this <clears throat> track. You'll hear underneath, there's this kind of like humming sound coming from the couple of instruments. And, and now the most important part here was the chaos. Right. And I still had that. that that's what here, the boram or the brown, brown, brown. Right. There's still that humming. Right. Why is the energy still that? Well, because the plug's still in the scene. So and I didn't want to just delete that. Right. So, and this plug is so still part of this whole mm -hmm. aspect, right? It's still a part of the world that we're under. And then the chaos itself, which represents all these different kinds of instruments. Yeah, that drums, wild drums. drums. Yeah. Right. And that's going to be fine-tuned. But the point is, um, and we had trouble last night. The majority of the time was on section two because I have three or four different drum parts I'm layering mm -hmm. and we, we, when we played them all at once you were like it's too chaotic I mean, right. even I, you know, we both said right. okay there's chaos and then there's too much chaos right. <laughs> so right. what we did was we had to edit that back and, and what you get is kind of fading between you know cymbal rolls and then maybe some tom rolls and things like that but the point is you can't have too many instruments talking at once and this is something right. I've brought up before and, and, yeah. you know, it's it, a conversation it know. becomes too much noise yeah too much and, yeah. and at this point it took away from what was trying to be said there mm -hmm. so and again that's, that's part of the process is you create something you, you, it's, it's, and it's, it's hard because especially someone like myself who doesn't speak music you know, right. and so I had to try to convey that the best way I can. But you did, the right? Feels. Right. I think we did a pretty good job considering the time frame yeah. we have worked with this particular yeah. project, That's and sure. the chaos really represents, you know, coming in and disrupting this whole thing. And I right. think, it, I think it, it does its job. Yeah. So now we're on to section three, three. which actually underwent the most part since the initial part of the podcast. Mm -hmm. we, we were like, oh, yeah, let's keep that place pillar piano. And I thought it was right. kind of neat. It was very simple and very, I kept calling it Charlie Brown. It was a little too mm -hmm. just basic, you right. know. And so I was like, well, let's keep it and we'll put some strings over it. Well, th those strings idea ended up turning into, um, I still get kept those strings idea that I showed you guys with my delay and things I do to make the strings roomier mm -hmm. and bigger. Mm -hmm. However, we, what we did is we brought back that first motif. We said, well, we like that motif. And yeah. actually quieter. We brought it back, but quieter because he is in a bedroom after all. Absolutely. We didn't, you right. know, it's not an exposition shot where it's outside. It's a little bit muted. Right. And there's some other stuff going on. Right. I think if right. you listen, there's a little sound design with the, uh, the, uh, the, the alarm the, clock the is buzzer. flashing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we decided to throw that in there because right. Uh, right. But that's the whole point here is is through the collaboration, through the creative process, we tied in a, a theme through of music through a theme that we didn't intend on in the first place. Right. Like we had no intention on tying up uh, his music yeah. to the beginning part yeah, of the I movie. thought his music was going to be piano or jazz piano, right. which thankfully, luckily, I'm not that great of a piano player. So when his instrument changed to this bell right. hypnotic thing, it was a relief for me. Yeah. And, you know, and he liked that better. So, you and know, it just it works, works out that works way. Out so that way. that's kind yeah. of the cool part about the exactly. creative process. Yeah. It's never what you always think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's it's Here's an idea. Let's 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 peel it back. Let's start peeling off those layers of the onions. Let's see how, yeah. how deep we can get and what, what else we can create out of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And so now that we've got all three parts... Um, yeah, let's this show them the third is, part. This though. is the third part. Oh my god, I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, I'm excited. We're, we're already there, I'm, I'm and excited. so basically, we bring the theme back. It's a little quieter, and you'll hear the string parts. And we just do a slow fade out. We that's just right. Do a, and I think at the end, you caught us 
before I realized we were filming. Nah. <laughs> you caught us doing that fade out at the end, nice. so that's what you'll see here. Okay? I'm going to back it up to a little bit of the drums. Sure. Now, that's a suspenseful interval there. I want to interject with the audience. Okay. There's a... Blah, blah, it goes a little higher towards mm -hmm. the end. That's a suspenseful interval. That's either a third or it's, it's some right. spatial, spatial interval which sets up mystery and I wonder what's going to happen next. Right. Yeah. And I had the feeling last night when we called it a wrap, it, plus it was like three and a half hours of editing. And thank you for being patient during that. Hey, I know the process. Uh, video editing, right? yeah, video, yeah. Editing is not easy, but it needs to be done. Um, but at the end, I, I said to myself, I said out loud, I said to him, I said, this is a movie where I want to see what comes next. Right. And when I start having a personal reaction to the movie, there it is. then right. I know it's got to be good quality. Yeah, you, you it's not my own worst critic. I think it's yeah. horrible. Even as it stands, I don't think it's horrible, but it's like, it's not great, but I'm sure other people are like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. You know? Well, you know, and so again, it is what it is. And I mean, we did this overnight. Yeah, we, we did, did this, this overnight. overnight. Yeah, one, so, one day. Right, day, and that's really. not typically how yeah. this works, but yeah. we know we're, we're playing around and having fun with it and creating something that we didn't really know how it was going to go. Right. And so, uh, and so now that we have all three parts together, yeah. let's watch it in its entirety. Watch the whole thing yeah. in its entirety, and then we'll close out the show. That's right. Sounds good. Here we go. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, just a little example of uh, some creative processing here with uh, some film and music, and yeah. and that's what we got out of it. Now, one thing that I noticed that I didn't, and that's what's cool about doing these things, is when she jumps off the the fence, there's like that. I didn't even notice it was there. And yeah. as we did those, how many times I listened to it, I didn't notice it. Right. Well, what it, we did that sound effect. We did real in. fast this morning is we peeled even more layers off. I mean, right. when you have ear fatigue like last night, especially in right. this chaotic instrument, I want to point this out to mixers, audio mixers, and, and, and video mixers too. When you're audio editing your audio if, you're, if you've been sitting in front of your speakers for 30 minutes or more chances are you have ear fatigue mm -hmm. and especially if you've been cranking it or you're doing your heavy metal music or something at loud volumes so just keep that in mind everyone is right. you're mixing your ears are your precious most precious things right uh, and if you are playing live shows use earplugs i mean or inner monitors there's a lot of ways you can preserve your hearing right I mean, so that's just uh, yeah it's hard to be after school special with it hey, a little but, psa uh, at the end of the yeah. day craig yeah uh, no but we notice here. something cool right. by, by by mixing at lower levels and removing parts and right. really get into you we notice something cool with our fresh ears this morning right so and there, that's, that's called a happy accident you yeah. know because we don't this, every, not everything is planned and like much like we had here we had ideas and it got formed into something different and we a lot of cool things happened out of this so mm -hmm. i hope you enjoyed listening and watching uh, rob and i play around with some uh, yeah. some fun footage here yeah, thanks for letting us play and uh thanks for listening thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe on that corner over there somewhere and uh, keep coming back. Thanks for listening. We'll keep talking. Yep. We'll come up with more stuff to fun, uh, some more fun stuff for us to talk about. Yes, we will. Bye bye. Peace. <laughs>